Praise the Lord, my dear friends, and welcome to today's daily reflection. So, even as we begin with this, let's all uh, sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, yes, Heavenly Father, as we have come into your most holy presence, I ask for your forgiveness, Lord, for all the things that we have done knowingly or unknowingly, Lord. Lord Jesus, even as we have come into your presence, Please guide us, fill us with your Holy Spirit and anoint us. Show us your path, Lord Jesus, so that we might follow your footsteps, Lord. We might not uh, run away from our daily responsibilities, Lord. Help us to take each and every responsibilities in a serious manner, Lord. So that we might carry our crosses without even grumbling, Lord. Because... We truly believe that it's not us who has been carrying our crosses, but it is you, Lord, who is helping us to carry our cross, Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask for your blessings upon each and every one of us right now who has been attending, who has been listening to your holy word and your reflection right now, Lord. Please, Lord Jesus, bring the light in our life, Lord. Change us so that we might be the salt in others' life too. We make this prayer in your most holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord, my dear friends. And uh, so today our uh, reflection uh, is on Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 to 16, which goes by. Let us then hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we have a great high priest who has gone into the very presence of God, Jesus the Son of God. A high priest is not one who cannot feel sympathy for our weaknesses. On the contrary, we have a high priest who was tempted in every way that we are, but did not sin. Let us have a confidence, then, and approach God's throne. Where there is grace, there will receive mercy and find grace to help us just when we need it. So over here, to the Jewish Christian readers, uh, the high priest had been uh, their high, highest religious authority. The priesthood began with Aaron, Moses' brother, uh, as in Exodus 20, 28 verse 41, which is, uh, then uh, the only high priest could intercede with God for the sins of the nation uh, was the high priest who has been authorized. But Jesus is our great high priest, better than all the high priests of Israel. So, you know, here is why I'll just uh, give few points on this. The high priest were humans who could offer sacrifices but could not do nothing to take away sin. Whereas, Jesus gave his life and died as the final sacrifice for our sin. The high priest could enter the most holy place only once a year to atone for the sins of the nation. But Jesus has gone to heaven and has unrestricted access to God the Father. The high priest were human and sinful themselves. Jesus intercedes between God and the people uh, as the sinless Son of God, human yet divine. The high priest were uh, the highest religious authorities for the Jews, okay? And Jesus has more authority than the Jewish high priest because he is, God, he is both God as well as man. Uh, people could not uh, approach God except through a high priest. Whereas uh, Jesus died uh, and the most holy place in the temple was torn into two, if you all remember that. Uh, so that indicates that Jesus, Jesus' death had opened the way for sinful people to reach a holy God. Because of all that Christ has done and is doing for us, let us cling to him and never stop trusting him. Because Jesus, our high priest, was made like us. He experienced life completely. He grew tired became hungry and faced normal human limitations. Then Jesus understands, so that's how Jesus understands our weaknesses. 
not only that but he also faced all the same temptations that as we do yet he did not sin jesus in his humanity felt the struggle and reality of temptation even in matthew 4 was 1 to 11 which describes as a specific series of temptation from the devil but jesus probably uh, faced the temptation throughout his entire earthly life just as we do so uh thus his death on the cross a great high priest jesus opened access to god now people can approach god directly because of jesus sacrifice uh because he sacrificed for our sins he gave his life to do this just for us so that uh we could boldly you know to the throne of our gracious god we can appeal to our god our father uh this verse uh is an open invitation to regard god as great ally and true friend grace means undeserved favor our ability to approach god does not come from any merit of our own but depends entirely on jesus he is our father who loves us as his children no matter what or how many sins that we have committed at god's throne we will not receive anger or be ignored instead we will receive his mercy and we will find his grace to help us whenever we need it god listens to our needs uh no request is insignificant and no problem is too small for him cause each and every problems that we face is utterly most important to him uh so uh th- this doesn't mean that you know uh, god pro- uh, so that doesn't means that god uh say suppose if i uh, say jesus please help me in so and so problem that doesn't mean that jesus will help me right at that very moment so he'll take his time because god promises to help us just as at the right time because he know the best and this doesn't mean that god promised to solve every need the moment we we come to him or we call upon him nor does it mean that god will erase the natural consequences of any sins that we have committed it does mean however that god listens and cares and will answer his on at his convenient time just because he knows our future he knows what's best for us and that's our living god that's that's much that so that's how he loves us with true abundant grace so this is how we must attain for his blessings we must have confident in him we must be confident in him and we must not uh, doubt upon his mercy or his love so with this i would like to end with a small prayer yes heavenly father we want to thank you for right now being into our midst we want to thank you for the for your most holy word lord that you have uh, that you have given to us we truly believe that you will truly take care of all our needs and our problems lord we truly believe that you will take care of us at every moment of our lives we even believe that you will answer our prayers at the very exact time which is suitable for you because you know the best for us lord help us to build more and more confident in you lord with this we would like to have you in our midst and we would utterly be capable of all your blessings lord please guide us protect us and fill us with your abundant grace and blessings we make this prayer in your most holy name amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen peace of christ my dear friends